Everyone needs to see you again. Because who doesn't want this cute face? So? So he wants to do my makeup and this is like a treat for him. I don't normally let him do this, but he loves it. It's his fave. But we're trying. Please get, um. Developing skincare. Yeah. As Zwei Cosmetics. So we are going to try a first impressions of the moisturizer. We have a serum and we have a I swear you hated cream. this. Oh, oh mum's back. Oh my god, he's never barked. <laughs> When someone's come in, he's never bought. You're developing. Welcome back to no. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are. Cheers. Um, developing skincare as my cosmetics. Um, I'm the creative director, working with the CEO Harry, and I'm really, really proud. Okay, we don't need a life story. Anyway, the what we're fuck you. Really proud of this product. Let me have this moment. <laughs> um, so we're trying a first impressions. She's never seen it before or tried it. So you we sent have, me pictures. Yeah, I do. You're being nice to me, unfortunately, cunt. Um, yeah, so we have a I serum. I bleep so much of you. No, you can keep cunt in there. My favourite words are like. <laughs> this is a pure concentrated. Serum, it's actually more of an oil form, but it's super fast absorbing. I won't show the rest of it until we actually have a PR package to reveal, so that will be in the next video. We will link all the Instagram. Do I put below. this on too, or just. Um, just it's up one. to you. I mean, the moisturizer is what we're going to launch first, so that's probably more important. But if you want to maybe just try some of the serum, because basically that is the pure concentrated version of the cream. Okay. It, I think it absorbs really quickly. Super proud. Is this the packaging? No. Oh. It's straight from the lab. Oh. I always like to try it like on the back of my hand to see the, like, the texture and how it works, but what else? Did, were you not, did you not want my first impression? Do you not want me to do it on my own? Your own way? Which yeah. Which is wrong. Okay. Everything I just said is right. <laughs> I don't know that Can we share that story? <laughs> So, she was out, met one of my friends, really big personalities, they're probably just as loud as each other and brazen, even though she's more ghetto, even though you're the one that's from Croydon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we will totally introduce her on my channel at some point, I have a video in mind that I want to do. Anyway, we're having an argument about... Obviously been drinking. Yeah, Disclaimer. <laughs> Get drunk ready with us. We <laughs> Is that what we're drinking. doing? No, um, I'm not drinking currently. Just you. I'm not an alcoholic, but all my friends This are. feels very nice. Mm. There's no scent, though. No, we've added scent to the moisturizer. Okay. And we're going to add it to that. So, obviously, we need to get the product It does feel there. moisturizing. Yeah, that's good. Can you put makeup on the... I feel like I'd need this to set in a little bit before yeah, I put makeup totally, on Yeah, it. we're not going to put it straight away. The moisturizer. You can actually use the moisturizer as a makeup primer as well, if you have normal to combination skin, because it is... But really can I go straight primer. in with the moisturizer after this area? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. God, no, the fucking story. Oh. The location story. So, we're, she meets my friend, big personalities, we're having a bit of a, like, we're in the house, getting drunk, having a good time for a couple of hours, and then we somehow get into this debate about social media and the impact. Oh. Good? Yeah. The impact it has on people. Anyway, she's in the middle of an argument, and she finalizes her argument with saying, yeah, yeah, no, I understand your point, but everything I just said was right. No, I said I get where you're coming from. But I still believe everything in everything I just said, or something like that. No, you said everything I just said is right. I mean, I was drunk. I said it in a really bad way. That's not. I would definitely. I'm gonna get on a fucking slogan T-shirt. Everything I just said is right. <laughs> but if I in her house, <laughs> she was in the girl's house that she's just met. <laughs> if I was sober, I would have articulated myself very differently. That's all. Everything I just said is right. <laughs> okay, this happened almost a, how long ago? Okay, let's six, get to the product. Six, smell, five, do you like six, the scent? It smells amazing. It does remind me of the Origin stuff. Okay, cute. Because they, can, they do like a mandarin range or something. Yeah, and it, um, it is mandarin. It's pure essential oil, so it's not synthetic at all. I didn't want to add any fragrance it or It does synthetic. feel really moisturising though. It does feel really smooth. That's good. I like it. It absorbs super quickly. Not like drastically. It's like it feels like I like I don't want something like you put it on your face and it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Like it still um, feels like. Use it morning and night. It is a really powerful anti-agent. So it has quite a na. It has more than water. It's got ingredients from the Amazon rainforest. Oh, I was like, are yeah. you speaking a different language? So the three active ingredients are from the Amazon rainforest, and it's what the indigenous people have been using for like hundreds, thousands of years. 
Love it. Can you use it on your hands too? I've put it on my body and it's actually kind of minimised stretch marks on my ass. Does it? I squat like fuck, so my ass is a bit marky. I can't. I've got a great ass. You are not PG. It's fine. My age range of viewers is a lot. Is Sorry about it. Not young, so it's fine. You like? Yes, a lot. It also oh, looks good. really good. Yeah. I think. So it, we're calling it like a youth extending glow cream. Because it gives the skin a really nice. Can I have one, please? Yes, I've got one for you. And then next, this is something that we've kind of formulated in collaboration with my makeup artist, David Lawrence. Further down the line, I do want to launch it. We call it Peas Glam. It is incredible. It's one of my favourite pre primer primers. Do you want me to do it yeah. on now? So we're going to do your makeup? Yeah. Okay. Oh no! What is he eating? He felt the tummy was like bleach. Oh god, what are you eating? If you kill my dog. Um, so this is my favourite primer, well one of my favourite primers, oh, wow. the Peter Thomas Roth. We do this first and then that sticks on it. That says Milani. Uh, yeah, Milani. Um, you just said Peter Thomas Roth. It's Roth. one of my favourites, but oh. so is the Peter Thomas Roth skin oh. to die for. I kind of like a silicone based primer. I, if it feels so a bit... So why are you using this one on me and not this one? Because um, that's a different one. Because that does what my product does. Oh, you're talking about a different Peter Thomas Roth one? Yeah, you um, might be confused. I'm hungover, I can't deal with this. Um, you're not hungover, you're drunk, you're still drinking. <laughs> Milani Prime Shield. I discovered this in the drugstore in Florida. And then David, again, ah, shout out David, um, took me to Beauty Bay once and we sell it here. Although this formula is... In Westfield. In Westfield. Although this formula is a little bit different than the one that it's I already done. had. Um, but I like it and I, like, I think it's such a good to do like... Promise. If you, bless for me. <laughs> and you've got combination skin, you should. Like, especially this region, like your T zone gets oily and the makeup will just lift off. Um, I tend to like a more silicone based primer because it just, you know, the product will stick and it looks long lasting. Um, people don't usually like tacky texture, especially men, but I find it just sticks the product more, so that's the one thing I do use. So this is Peas Glam Glow, and we'll just. Wet a little bit all over the face and then blend it out and it just gives your skin a beautiful complexion. You can use it over, under or instead of foundation. Instead? Yeah, I mean if I if I'm gonna go out and I don't want to wear like any makeup but I still want to look glowy and beautiful, I would use this. Really? Kinda like do you remember when we tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter? They gave us samples like for a year. <laughs> no. Yes, it came in the little sachets, and you're like, oh my god, it's amazing. Oh. It has a very slight pigment, it's only 2%, but it's good for every single skin type, white, Asian, oriental, black skin, it's amazing. Have a little look in the mirror, what do you think? Oh yeah, I do like that. Do That's good it? for me, because I don't really wear foundation, wear foundation most days. It's beautiful. I don't wear foundation at all, I wear, wear tinted moisturiser. And then it's got like a really nice, I don't know if you can see the reflex on that, it's got a really yeah, it's got nice... really nice sheen to it, I like yeah. that a lot. And it's, I was expecting... glitter, it's not glitter shimmery, but yeah, it has, I was expecting it's like it a velvet like satin sublime yeah. finish, it's beautiful. I was expecting it to be like glittery. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not going to lie, people will say normally like I'll get compliments on my skin, especially in makeup, and this is my absolute best get beauty secret. Yeah, I like that a lot, like, can I have some? Yeah, I, need to, I don't have more of that, I need to box on my own. Okay. I do have a brand new beauty blender, but I am not going to use that on you. Not worth it? No. <laughs> I mean, I've had my black pump for like three years and I absolutely love it and I feel like until that falls apart, I don't, don't need a new one. Don't use blender either. Uh, what? How the fuck do you get your makeup on? I just use brush. The blasphemy. Okay. I have one foundation, I just don't wear it, but it's very dark for me. This is when I got back Clinique. from Mauritius. Clinique foundation is quite um, a bit oily, babe. But I don't like looking matte. So thanks, she just gave me this cute little brush holder from Dior. How cute is that? I'll just put it my It magnetises, which is quite good. So I was actually going to wash all of my brushes prior to this, but then we ended up in the box and that just didn't happen, so fuck it. I actually do quite like to get... Are you going to go up. through any of this? Mmm, uh, maybe. I think I make up shit. <laughs> Even though she's got Shanti Kai. Shanti Kai. I don't like to have that anymore. I've used it. Can I get a cotton bud? So I like to mix foundations just to find the perfect tone and texture. 
and I like to get in there with a cotton bud, so probably makeup artists around the world are dying out there as to how I mix it, but you will see. Oh, sure. I didn't I didn't reply to his messages. Okay. Um shade away. Yeah. So probably makeup artists the world over will die and mother Pat McGrath will probably roll over in her grave if she were dead. God, but I like to, circles. I we're gonna get rid of that. I like to mix foundations just to get like the right it texture. Is good. Oh my god, Dior Backstage is like my new fave at the minute. I'm obsessed with it. So like one layer is just like nice kind of sheen, no makeup, makeup. Three layers, you look snatched. Like for the how have you been going? Well, I'm just gonna do your makeup the way that I would do my makeup. So a lot of product. Um, so yeah, we're mixing Pro Longwear foundation. This is really really light for me. I've got quite a few foundations for depending how tanned I am in the year. Um, we're kind of different tones, but you're quite yellowy. I hate that this foundation does that. The one critique I've got is kind of, I guess, the yeah, applicator. It's messy. It gets messy, but like all foundations get messy, especially at work. And yeah, I but do, not like... Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like, gunk. Um, but it is good for face and weight. And actually, but yeah, anyway. she got me into this. So she introduced me to Skin Base. And I think if I had to use one foundation for the rest of my life, this would probably be it. It's just good for photos because there's no SPF in it. So you don't look white because there's no flashback. Oh, is that what? But for combination skin. So recently, I've been. I love to play and use different foundations, but I find that. I get quite oily, so I block powder quite a lot throughout the day. And recently, I've been getting like where the foundation separates from like oh, the oily sections that. of your face, and then you can clock it, and it's awful. With this mix, it doesn't happen. Oh. So I really like it because obviously the oils in your skin kind of break down. That is too dark. We need a bit more of the Mac. Um, yeah, the oils in your skin you does tend to break down the formula. Barney does the same thing. He just sits at the top of the stairs. So I do this with my own makeup, I would mix it all together with a cotton bud, get that formula and the shade right, and then I go right in with a cotton bud and I swatch it like under the eyes. Do you want to tell them what you're doing? Well like, I'm not a trained MUA, that is for sure, I have not been to school for it. So you work in it? I work, I've been working in beauty for the last year, kind of by accident. Um, so my old divisional manager is now deputy store director in a luxury department store that is iconic in London, not Harrods. Um, and yeah, kind of called me when they launched Men's Room and asked me to kind of look after it. And at first I was a bit like, no, I don't want to be a manager. So the only Men's Room in the department in store? store. Um, no, is there well, like, the any other department store have Men's Room? They'll have like a section, but we're the first ones to have like, so we have everything from fragrance to hair, body, face, and makeup tools as well. Mm. And it literally kind of is a world first. Because a lot of men, like if you go into the beauty hall of any department store, it's quite intimidating. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of products and a lot of brands. And if you're a guy that just wants to get you a fucking concealer, yeah. and you don't know. For a spot or and something. Yeah, and you know, you're a straight manly guy, but you, there's something that makes you insecure and you want to cover it. It's really intimidating, I get it. And a lot of men, so I use skin on guys all the time, and I absolutely love when you know that you've just done something and you've changed someone's fucking life. Baby hands. This brush is so soft. This brush is amazing. So again, David um, got it for me. Uh, the 170. I never used to use a brush. I used to like to get in there with a beauty blender, but I actually like to apply first with a brush and then blend out with a beauty blender. Oh. Yeah. Do you wet your beauty blender? Yes, you should always use it damp, not wet. Do you need to move that stuff out of the way? No, mm, it's wet. Uh, yeah, I wash it after I just oh. me. This is not my full glam makeup every day. Oh, so you added product onto the beauty blender as well, and then... No. Well, oh, I did. dab it in. Yeah, 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 I dab it in and then bounce it. But you're quite tall. Oh. Skinny bitch. Sorry, I was kicked in. Really, really important to get the ear and the neck in, especially like boys. Like when you see boys that like wear makeup and then like the face is one colour and then the ear is a completely different one. If your hair's up. My hair's down, what does it matter? Like when boys do makeup. Oh. Like, oh! Think, yeah, look at your skin, it looks bomb. I mean, on the forehead. I just hate the feeling of makeup on my face. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Oh, sometimes like my skin is begging for makeup. Like if I've got a week off, I mean I don't wear makeup if I'm going to the gym or I'm off and I'm doing errands and going to the barber shop. Fuck it. But at work, pretty much every day, but it's the most fun part of my day. I lay out my entire kit. This is why I was like, it's exciting. It's a treat for him. Yeah, it's fun. Let's go out. This guy in coin for two pound a week. Up. <laughs> it's not two pounds, but it's cheaper. Four. Yeah, maybe. It's like I'm not enjoying your wine. Wait, it's Friday. Is it? No, it's not. It's Thursday. No, it's Thursday. <laughs> go buy a rota. I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> Yesterday, in all my paperwork, you, I was writing down the 15th and it was the 16th. You were like, oh, is it? Oh, Wait, you didn't go to work today. That was really off. Well, I did. I came to Narnia to fucking... Shut <laughs> up. It's not even that bad. I mean, have a little look. You happy? Is there anything you want more? We're going to conceal under the eye. Yeah, the only thing is the, the Chanel's under my eyes. Um, I do like to use the end of the, like, the tip of the egg and get it right in there, basically. You know what, you're quite good because you don't really have, like, or Oriental, you really have eyelids, but your eyelids aren't oily. <laughs> I'm so politically correct. At this point, I like to set the makeup already and then go in with the powders. Question, why do you keep the second lid? I mean, I don't. I, this, is, this one's brand new. Oh my god, that was very wet. My travel, yeah, like that, right? My travel, my travel kind of... I honestly, I swear you didn't like this. Oh my god, this is the Holy Grail. Again, you taught me about this. Yeah, I know. No, wait, someone else. I saw it on like Jeffree Star. Duh. Um, it's a, it, it that is the only it. thing that keeps your face and on. And after, so I got into Jeffree. On a night about, out, anyway. I got into Jeffree about two years ago. And I'm obviously obsessed with it. He can open a bag of crisps and I'll be like, I'm going to slay bitch. Um, and he's obsessed with it. And it is like how you walk through the face. No. I'm not going to lie though. It does. Sometimes it is a bit like, could be a bit much. Like, I love the smell. Hairspray is the original. It literally is. I remember when used to do that. original fucking setting spray. Yeah, let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted. It's so that bad that people so used to do that to affect the face. It films though. a layer of plastic that seals the makeup. Don't get it twisted. This probably is not that different, that far off. Can you imagine? When I'm in a rush for work, you will see. You will know because you'll see a residue of foundation on my hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, because I on my hand. To me. Now I just but go straight from the thing. The to primer my hand. that I put on, like, you know, it's good because it fucking makes your foundation stick. Um, powders. Now, you are a bit lighter than me. I classic. I'm going to use the Ben Nye. I like powder. I'm not powder. even oily. No, but we can, I mean, so normally you powder like under the eye, the nose and the forehead is what I do because that's where you get oily the most and it moves usually makeup on this part of the face, like, it kind of stays. Although, a lot of people use, you know, everyone's fucking baking under their eyes and Actually, one, it's really not good for your skin. Two, if you do have fine lines, the product sits there and you clock it. So I try to use the bare minimum. I just think it makes it look like you're wearing makeup. Yeah, I don't like that look. I, I like a very, very natural minimum, look. Yeah, well, we're gonna, you're going to look a bit more beat than you normally do. You know when you do your own makeup and you're in the mirror and you're like, you think you're putting on your mascara like fucking Scarlet, you're handsome, but you're like, I'm just calling your hands and her in. And the Dior, was it Dior that she did the makeup for when she's like really elegant with the mascara one? Oh. But in real life we're like Why Scarlett you... Johansson? Yeah. Is that the right person? The, the bitch from um Lost in Translation, Ghost in a Shell. Oh yeah. So I didn't use this on you because this is quite dark. I ordered it online and obviously when you order makeup online you don't know what the fuck you're getting. Jeffree Star, um setting spray but just have a smell of it. It smells fucking divine. Why is it that colour? It's like mustard. This is supposed to be banana. You don't like it. I don't like banana, fake banana stuff. It's not banana, it smells like cotton candy. Like a fun pair. You just hate him. I don't hate him. <laughs> I feel like you can never do enough with a beauty blender. Like I could be, I could sit here for like hours just bouncing it back and forth. No thanks. I mean, for your look, you like no makeup, makeup. You could just go out like that. With... Why? What else are you doing? Well, we're gonna conceal the under. No, but I'm I not would, even near. I you would just go out like this. Yeah. No, no, no. And it, but it looks, your skin looks beautiful. But I put mascara and bronzer on. Yeah. Because I think mascara makes a huge difference to your um, face. I guess I'm doing your makeup like I would do my makeup. Oh yeah, you wouldn't wear mascara. No, do you ever wear? I look brown. 
if I've got the scar I'll look like a fucking clown. Well, yeah, because you've got such long eyelashes. But would you ever wear um, like, clear mascara? Well, I use brow gel on my brow, but not my eyes. You know what's really funny? I never put concealer on my chin, because obviously I've got a beard, but I instantly do it on you. How funny is that? I feel like I keep stepping on him. Favourite concealer ever, the 24 hour <laughs> Pro Long Wear from MAC. I mean, I am a bit of a MAC guy, I can't even lie. I did also get the. I used to own everything from. I don't have anything from that. I got the Jeffree Star concealer, and it is amazing. The formula is the bond dot com. Bond it, kind of but, yeah, but the packaging. <laughs> Why do I do that? Like I'm like itching my own. Um, <laughs> good boy, he wants attention. I've given you food. J S C. Concealer, magic stick concealer. It is absolutely amazing, but again, I ordered it online and when you're ordering makeup online, you can't really see the colour, you're just, it's a guessing game. It's really light. It's really, really light. But under the eye, it's okay, it blends out beautifully, but I do like to mix it and the applicator is amazing. It holds like a lot of product in the gummy, which I love. So we're going to in do the it. who? The gummy. Like this little. Is that what that's called? Yeah. It's like the. Oh, it's called just a dough for applicator. Mm. Gummy? Why? Yeah. Um, gummy bear? Fucking nice. What? <laughs> Head down. <laughs> but look up. <laughs> I love it when I'm doing this at guys on work and they're like, and I'm like, no. I'm like, head down, but, but look I up. Should and they, know and, and they can't do it. it. Oh my god, the formula is so good. But do you know why? Because all I can think about right now is having a sip of my Diet Coke. You can go for it. I'll put this on. Close. Yeah, there's nothing worse than, you know when people blink and they just have like really oily eyelids and the product just sits there? Oh yeah, I don't like that either. It is gross. I feel like mine is doing that now with a little bit. No. Look at that eye. That under eye. Yeah, that's good. How nice. Still looks a bit dark though, but I guess you can't really get rich. Well, I mean, I tried that shake up makeup for men and it's not gone but it's I mean I think I'm hungover so it's not gonna it's really gone gonna down. yeah but also like under right it's hereditary it's diet lifestyle and kidney function uh yeah probably all of those so it's you know it's fine I really want to get under and she right, never mom doesn't have under, like bad under eyes at all and usually oriental people she looks don't quite young. it's quite snatched but that's probably the Greek Mediterranean people and Arabs um, usually have like great um, dark circles well my dad's yeah. Japanese and Italian so and the British. Well, if you're really fair, yeah. Yeah. Or like my my elder sister has thyroid, and that's one of the main side effects of it is that you get really fucked up, like dark circles. It's annoying. Cool. Look, I mean, I skin is done. Yeah, look good. Oh, okay. wait, I can't Those wait brows. to get to my brows. <laughs> uh, your brows are fucked. I don't know what to do with them. I didn't use this, and normally I would if. I don't know, I've got more time, but I've just not been using it recently, and this is like my favourite thing to come out of a tube since Mum's discovered alcohol. <laughs> right, four cards. It's, it's a highlighter pen. Um, use it a bit as a concealer. Back to mag. <laughs> uh, that was the last year of it. Scraped to the gods. So this is actually like, it's not even a bronzer, it's actually a blot powder, but in deep dark, and I like to use it as oh. a bronzer because I, I used to use a dark concealer as. I used to use this. But I haven't gone through any of your makeup because no. I just think it's going to be shit, and it's not. Oh, you just said that the two black, the um, home product. Yeah, you taught me. I gave you, Shut I showed face. you. Is that the cheeks? Harder. I can't, I've got fat cheeks. Thanks for face. <laughs> hey, beautiful bitch. Why is that all? I don't like it. Okay, now I'll just put that in your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go in with another bronzer because this is not picking up on you at all. What wise you think? I don't know why, but I always when I do the, the line of the forehead, I like to like press the brush down because it gives it more of an angular. I don't go all the way around my forehead. No, should I know you? you don't. I I quite like to. I think it's important to like blend it out. Um, like whenever you see it, when Ariel does Kylie's makeup, he always gets like the blush right into her hairline. I and like it just gives what? A, it gives you a really nice sun kiss look, and I love it. Who was it that did? I think it was just Emily. Oh, do it on me, you can see. Emily Ratajkowski did it. She put blush on, and then she put a bit on her nose, and it just made her look really, really brown. It was weird. Do you remember when you were like, she and now we contour the nose away? Yeah. <laughs> 
your nose, I never really know what the fuck to do with it. I can't contour it. No, because it will look weird. And then it looks weird, but I'm going to try. I bronze it. I'm gonna try a little something, something. My favorite part is actually contouring my nose and I would start it from like the socket here. I don't think you've ever actually done something. No? Okay. I don't think so. This is perfect. I mean, I'm left handed, so it's a bit hard to turn that way a little bit. I like to do it here from the ridge, like the corner of your eye, because look at it. So like, I would get in like right there. Oh, like, yeah. And then that like gives you that natural angle of your face to create a bridge. And you can do it very subtly. Yeah, because I, so I just think that I just think that this even is if what you makes... do that, if, you do that, if you do the ugly face that we do. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it gives definition to that cartilage in your mind. I always like to wet it, and usually a bit of the nostril because it just snatches it in a little bit. Is it? And then what I do with that? When is... when I'm putting bronzer, they're making the nostrils look bigger. No, but it creates a dark shadow. Um, yeah. Same. And I would always take this, like if I am feeling really hungover like today, I would take the bronzer and kind of just do it a bit on the eyelid, like a shadow, because it makes the under eye look whiter. It's a nice little trick. Again, I think once David did that on me and I was like, girl, no, you didn't. No, well, that so might have cut off. That, wow, what was that accent? Might have cut off. Let me have a look at you. Durafiber wash from MAC, I absolutely love it because it just marries all of the product together. I have this brush. You get, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Literally. <laughs> um, a lot of people use it. Went for, right in the eye. A lot of people use it for foundation as well as powders. I used to use I, this for foundation. I don't. I like to just use it to blend everything together. Now look at yourself. I would like to do a bit more bronzer. What do you do? I don't know. Do it how you would. I don't, I don't ever wear this much makeup, this so I would have looked probably left about 10 but, minutes but the ago. Thing is, like, I don't think it looks like that much makeup. No, 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 no. But it it's a lot of layers. But it feels it's, like makeup. It feels like a lot, yeah. Um, Whereas the majority of the time when I wear I makeup, it just... head down a bit so I could get into like this hairline. I really want to do something with these babies. I like it. Yeah, so you were annoyed about baby hairs, now you're making them come out. No, but I, I personally love a baby hair. Shout out J-Lo, she's always rocked a... Baby hair. She smooths them down though. She smooths them down with the whole thing. Suck the cheeks in again for me. You were doing this so far away from my face that you weren't even touching me. Because I just want the tip of the bristles to touch your face. I don't want it to be like a bit airy. I want to get the neck. I mean, the thing is, this one's are like a little goes a long way, and I'm quite brush heavy. I mean, I'm quite generous with the application of any products. See, this is the funny thing, because I would never do this on myself, obviously I've got a beard, but like, just brushing the bronzer there just defines the jawline so much more. It's a really nice trick. Cool. My lips look ghostly. Yes, I like. Well, Kim always does like a foundation lip, and that's like the base of her nudes, and I quite like that, but we're going to try and do your lip. Yeah, but if I just put gloss on it, sure, but not on its own. This is where you're going to test my skill, because your lip... You put them all on, I didn't realise. Your lip, like your brow, has no fucking shape to work with, it's so challenging. So we are going to try. Oh, look at the bubble! He's sleeping! My mum's calling me, probably thinking like, where the fuck's my dog? Uh, it's my dog. She is caregiver obsessed with this palette it is the bomb.com.co.uk motherfucking org Open. I've never bought a palette and it's fucked because it's she's been used I mean you can see it's been oh used nice you have um, you didn't even look at this I will in a sec um it's a highlight palette from Mum Mitchell it's the first palette I've ever bought is it supposed to sound like that Mum Mitchell I think it's just Mum Mitchell I don't know um, I did into three, so Made It, Babely, and OTD. Mm. Now, on me, I would I would do it so different to how I'm going to try and do it on you, but down the bridge of the nose, okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do that that <laughs> way. I can't hold the brush like that. Oh, look at this tip there. I know we're making it bigger. You make it fatter! It's so cute. It's there. Love it. Embrace it. It doesn't make me look young. Like, I love my um, Cupid's bow, so I always go in there, but you don't really have one, so it's not the same, but we're going to do it like I want. Why do you have one? What are you talking about? 
Ever so painting. I found yeah. bigger lips than you. I go in with this, like in the corner there, because my eye is yeah, a bit more hollow. Yeah, I like that. It makes you look away. My eye's a bit more hollow, but yours will just go straight in with the pencil brush. Connect. Look at me a bit. Where? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and get right there. Oh, my God. I love a pencil brush, just the precision. You want to try eyeshadow? No. Fuck it all up. But imagine if you tried eyeliner. Like a gel. Mm. No, it's the hardest thing to do. My hand is not that sticky. I do. I saw the application. Everything I just said is right. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want a grey lip. Um, but you are a girl, and I'm gonna use Mac O Darling's highlighter and do your cheeks. We I'm just cool. did the highlight. Yeah, we did. But um, this is a different one. I'm gonna do it on my cheeks. I don't normally do this on myself, and this is like David Zuri. What's the pinky one? one from Mac? I used to use that all the time. I love the fan brush to get the highlight on this. It's my favourite too. It's my looking wise, it's my favourite fucking brush. It looks like the evil Got gremlin. It. it looks like the evil gremlin. You know the black gremlin. His hair, he's on my hot playlist. I'm, I'm literally I'm, You've not watched any of the films I've watched. What fucking childhood did you have? <laughs> Cambodia? <laughs> Sweet <laughs> Create a fucking bridge. Rude! Well, sometimes a nice trick to do is after you've done the highlight, then go back in again with the bronzer and contour down the nose because it helps define it a little bit. Look at me, bitch. It's a spider web. That's disgusting. <laughs> go on, do it. <laughs> you knew what it was. You were about to do it. Go on. <laughs> <Watch your face. laughs> That's going to be the icon for the video. Mmm. Mmm, no, I don't like ones on your nose. Like, no. Fuck your mom. Um, I have the Benefit thing, it's really good if you want to try it. Everyone loves Benefit, but I've never tried it. Ooh, that is a beautiful brush. Oh, well, I like the thickness spoolie. of the spoolie. I mean, the actual brush, but that's too thick for your, your brow. I'm not going to fill your brow in, I don't know what to do with it. No, this is good, you don't want to try it? No. Look, it's tiny. No, it's not. Do you want... Yeah, this way, but not this way. Whoa. Yeah, no. I've got a bit of excess product already on the spoolie, and just that is enough to just pick up some of the hairs. This is really good. It's changed my life. It's What's the that? brow dip in Ebony. Um, From? ABH. Oh. It's been used, but yeah, it just... Sorry, it's like are we a doing yours or...? But no, look, you can see it's good for guys, it's good to like if you ever want to colour in your beard if you've got grey. I see this is the thing as well when I wear makeup, I don't feel like I can't touch my face. I don't know. I mean, your brows don't really have a shape, so your brow is actually really good to do a soap brow. I love like a pushed up brow. I want Gigi's brows. But they're really natural. I want Bella's face. Huh? I want Bella's face. Um, that's surgery? Yeah, but her face is like. I think it's too much. I prefer Gigi's face. She looks young and, and you natural. Like okay, I like I like her. Harsh. Glam. But her no, her face just looks like. Yeah, but you it's know, harsh. You know when you see Miss Fame patients up with Jesus' tape, don't and get me like, wrong, but it's very harsh. You can. You know what you should do? You should try shrink. taping your thing. See what it looks like. Do a wig for Halloween. Yeah, like taping um, up. Baby, I'm really happy with everything. I will just do mascara and maybe a bit of a lip. Yeah, I actually do really like my brows so pushed up like that. Yeah. I think a soap bar would be so good. So now you don't hate them? And I still hate them. A lot. Um, okay. Can't please you. You do your mascara and let's try a little bit. I feel like straight men also come into the. Ow! Oh, yeah, I can't see. Come into the monitor and do that. I no, like but straight, I can't see. I feel like straight men like think. Oh, shit. Give me something with a mirror. Mmm. Wow, that looks good. Yeah, no, oh, that one looks amazing. I haven't put anything on that. What mascara is that? It's just. I love how thin the spoolie is. That is bomb. It's just one side. I can try some for you, and you can see what it looks like. I look like a clown. Yeah, I do want to see. This is the trouble eye with mascara. This is what our relationship is like. Me is always on my fucking phone. This is this is it. Oh, that is so cute. You didn't tell me now. Oh, sorry. Can't. 
Do you want to put it up again? No, it's alright. Well, kind of. Okay. 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 In Denim Studio Works. Do you remember that? I'm really upset. What? Is it finished? Yeah. You could try that again. disgusting five pound cider if you want. No, I'm drunk, I'm wrong. Are you actually drunk? With that. No, but I'm feeling really happy. Look at the difference. It looks like I've also never skin. worn this shirt, you know that? Ever? <laughs> That's a lie. No, that not. is a lie. You have worn it once with jeans, white jeans. Ow! Mm, no, to meet me. This was like such a find. I don't think I have, babe. Every time I wear it, I feel like I need to check. Like, I, I can't find a way to wear it like how I would like. Okay, your mascara looks fun. I like it. I think eyelashes always makes the huge difference. Let's do a bit more highlighter in the inner eye. Venus has been doing Whoa! You've seen that already. Oh no, I was talking about this one. Oh, oh, I was. It looks like fucking Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen, seen, seen it. Oh, <laughs> <it's not. laughs> I bind you, Nancy. I bind you from doing harm against other people and harm against yourself, and you didn't get that line done. That's no. more craft. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> this is not blush. Yeah. Come on, maybe try it yourself. Cause what are you trying I'm, to do? I'm just trying to do that. But like, this eye is perfect, the other one not so much because uh, my hand is not that skilled. Look, I like to get it right in there in the corner of the teardrop. It just brightens everything up and you do that for that one. Just try and correct it. Yeah, yeah. See? How nice is that? I don't know that thing I can eat. Do you want to use a lip scrub? Yeah. Mac, vanilla, okay. Scrub. I want to try Jeffrey's one. How am I going to get it off? No, you eat it off. No, no, no. So this brand sent me PR and I did a video. She's going to link it all down below. But Shake Up Cosmetics for Men and this lip conditioner is becoming one of my faves. Don't taste it Yeah, it's vanilla. You need to, you've got pieces on You need to look that one. I haven't even scrubbed it yet. You know what, sometimes I do if I'm in a bit of a rush. Again, make a party, so I'm probably going to die. I'll get the end of the packaging for that, or the MAC lip conditioner, and just lick my neck. And scrape the dead skin off. I don't see why that's bad. What difference? And then you put it on and it just sits in like fucking bar. Yeah. Are you doing glass? So we are doing recycled plastic and we are doing a Zwire back to Gaia. So you, you give us five containers back and we give you a product and we recycle the product for you. I love a bit of eco friendly. I've always wanted to use this brush and I've never used it. Is it bad? The client gave it to me, it cosmetics. Oh. It's like a massive jewel I mean my face is fat enough. <laughs> yeah. Um no, but it um I used it at Carnival. I like I oh, like yeah. contouring and we're highlighting mine. Yeah, we're gonna highlight and contour this. So do that again. Scary batch. I don't know. I see that. Okay. That we just all used and it was incredible. I have something you'd really like for body. Is it a, a lava? Who? A lava. Like a body lava. What's body lava? Oh, Fenty is like a body lava and apparently it's like really sticky. No, I'll show you. This, do you want to show you? Do you like the bronzer and the hairline? I'll tell you that. Do you? Mm. Yeah, no, I like it. Even though like I don't have a Rihanna head and neither do you, it just snatches a, a Rihanna forehead. Oh. It just makes everything like snatch. I have, someone told me I have a weirdly small forehead one. It is really small because your baby hairs. But like, I literally like, have okay. like a three head. It's not even four. four. No, it's not. So look <laughs> at your eyebrow, right? It's there. Your hairline is there. You have a space of like that in between it. <laughs> Bitch. I almost stepped on your dog. You I knocked do it. All the time. He's so tired. He doesn't even give a fuck. They do a non-shimmery one, and then they do this one, and this on holiday is amazing. Nick, they do a really good lip scrub and uh, balm. Don't. Well, it's where, not where, a where spray. Would you put it? It's like an oil. Yeah. It looks like the applicator looks like more, but the component looks like um, a spray. Like it, like. Do you want to do it first? Well, let me try it on the back of my hand and see what yeah, it's like. Yeah, just try it. 
Oh. It's no, very direct. It looks, yeah, that's why I was like, you can't. I mean, that's a beautiful highlight, but it's quite oily. Like, I would never want to put this on my skin unless I was doing an event. Or no, on holiday, when you put this I'm on. I'm going to Rio in Feb, can you let me borrow it? It's not that, you need to like. You know, it is gorge. Yeah. God, I love how my fingers look when they're like that. You do? Yeah, I look like a fucking... Vampire. Oh. You're in a very different direction there. Okay, well my drink's running outside, I need to go and get another one. Let's finish this shit. That's quite nice. Do you want to test my skills? I'm a bit drunk. But, okay, let's do it. If we don't like it, you've got a baby wipe, we can wipe it off. What? You what? What you colour are you doing? There's so many more lipsticks that you're already done. Oh, okay. I hate it. I'm, I'm real quick. That's how. Look at look at one. Eating the fucking butterfly. No, he's like chilled his head on my I've got foot. Cross that. I can do it to bed. It's your fucking lip stuff that you gave me. Okay. I didn't drink it. I feel like. Sorry, the dog's moving Stop me. Stop talking. Let me it is so precise. So when they do like matte trainings, like they can't correct a lip, like meaning you could take a Q-tip and clean clean it off at the bottom, mm. which I might do in a bit. When you work for them, you can't. Ever. You're not allowed in the training. You'll fail it if you do that. In training, but like when you're doing it on someone, surely you're allowed to. Do you want to do this bit? Yourself. I mean, I can do it for you, but it's just so much easier if you just look in the mirror and put it on yourself. No. Fucking arsehole. Part your lips. You're the one that wanted to go to this. Part your lips. I really like this colour though. This is good. It's a bit of that. Part your lips. Part your lips. Look. Part your lips. Do you prefer me with a bold lip than natural? Because yeah, your makeup is usually quite natural. I quite like it. I mean, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical because your lips aren't, but I think you did a good job. Anything else wrong with my face? Rub together for me. Wow, it's very. Thick. Um, Q-tip. Do you have Fix Plus? No. I don't even have that anymore. I need to get the one. So usually I would not do it with Urban Decay. I would do it with Fix Plus and just wet the Q-tip and then you just clean up the edges. But yeah, blah, blah, blah. Or some people, they put concealer. I do that myself and like clean up my dirt, but since I'm my friend, it's fine. I would never do that like on a client. Um, concealer, yeah, you can correct it with concealer. Because ultimately, when you correct something, you are taking another layer we off. We are in a bathroom. You could have used a tap. No, no, no. Ew! I oh, don't know, that's just your lip. I like it, look. I do like it a lot, actually. Are we finished? Cool, done. Yep. Yeah. Do you not want to spray me? At the end. I just oh, can't I do it anyway. Come on, we can do it again. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Love. Thanks, but I do like it. I do feel like we should go somewhere, but I don't have the energy. Work. <laughs> I just want to eat food yeah. and watch a film. Yeah. yeah. But go and check his channel out. He's just filmed to get ready with me. I know. First impressions, I guess. Yeah. Um, I do want to do a get ready with me and a get ready drunk with me. And he was drinking more in that one, so that one might be a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye. Wait, you, be, you want to say boy? My should belly's boy? actually kind of rumbling. Do you want to say boy? Bye. Look at you. If I give you kisses, you're going to have purple all over you. <laughs> Good boy. Daddy loves you. He was so small. Look at how big he is. He's like a ton of song, bless him.